Alright, welcome to your next XHTML tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about tables. So, let's get these table tags up and ready, because this is quite a bit of stuff, in my opinion. This will be a big video. Okay, so once you have your table tags created, I always go on to the next line because there will be a bunch of stuff in here. Um, I like to create a border, so... Uh, you know, most people actually don't even use borders. They'll use tables in order to position certain things on in certain areas of their website. But they may not want a border or anything like that or anything specific for a background. They just use it to position a group of things that they want to appear on their websites in certain areas. So tables really help in organize, organize, uh, organize, organizing where things are on your website. So border this number represents how many pixels thick it is oh, so let's get it started so first you have to create a row and the tag for row is tr table row easy enough and then you want to close that table row with another tag and within this you'll create a column and the tag is td which stands for table data and then within this, you can type in like, hello, I'm Adam. And I keep using this example. Let's uh, check out how this, this looks. Well, looks pretty much correct. We created one row and one column. So it's just one, one. If you were to use, you know, x axis, y axis, coordinate plane stuff, never mind. Uh, but you can also create as many columns as you want within the same row. So notice how all these uh, table datas are within the same row. So when I save and uh, show this off, now we have we still only have one row but three columns. Then I could just copy all of this. Whoops, Control Z. That's the undo. Control copy all this and create three rows of three columns which should come out to nine cells as they're called which it does three rows of three columns now some additional things that you can do with a table for an example is to align the table itself wherever you want in the page so I'll do it this way well now it's in the center you can also create a width for this for it. I'll make it 500 pixels. That should be pretty good. And there it is. Well, all the text is off to the left. So what can we do about that? Well, I'll create an inline style and call it text align center. I believe I've done this before. I've made an inline style in front of you guys. Oh, and now all the text is in the center. Now you might be thinking, well, look at this border. I don't like how there's this little space between that line and that line and all that stuff. Well, that's called cell spacing, a dis distance between each cell. And each of these little rectangles is called a cell. Another place that you might have seen that word used is with Microsoft Excel, with all those things. Another place you might have seen it in three-dimensional form with rectangular prisms are cells and jails. Hopefully you've never seen one. But anyways, um, so you want to change the cell spacing. The default is one pixel, but we can change it to zero. And there we go. Now there's no none of those weird things. Uh, another feature is called cell padding. Now think of padding it as like airbags in your car. It's the amount of cushion that there is around the text that's inside the cell. So like if we made this 5 pixels, press F5, well now it's 5 pixels up here below the text um, added to the left and to the right. Even though we can't really see the le left or the right because I messed with the width of the table anyways. Uh, but, but if I didn't mess with the width and the end of the table was right here, 5 pixels would have been added. And they still were, but you can't really tell. 
Uh, you can also mess with the height of the table as well. So I can change the height to be, let's see, 300 pixels. Wow, that's pretty ugly. No, I guess if you're playing Jeopardy, this would look about right. But I digress. Uh, but another thing is, well, what if you might uh, want to take out a piece of this information? For example, if I take out this data, piece of data, right here, and maybe I want this uh, data, this uh, table data, as I guess you would call it, to span over to this one. Well, what you would do is you would use col span, or in other words, how many columns this cell will span over. So you want to find that cell. Now, that's the difficult thing, is figuring out which one of these is it. Um, it will be the second one right here. And right here, you want to type in col span equals and then how many columns you want it to span over. So I'll click two. Then I'll refresh the page, and now it goes over two. Now what if I get rid of this whole thing? So now it's like this, and I want this column right here, for an example, to go over multiple rows instead. Well then again, find that table data, that TD tag. I, that's the first, second, the second of the first. So think about first row, first row, second column, so it's second column. And then type in row span, and then how many you want it to go over. So I'll type in two, and there you have it, it goes over two. Uh, and just to bring it up, because I'm already pretty much done with this video, uh, other things that you can do with this is you can specify background color like you can type in BG color here you can even type in BG color within the TD and TR if you wanted to get specific if you wanted to use images instead if you want to change font styles uh, a lot of the formatting text like you can still put um, a line you can put down a line sent you can put a line right here for an example you know what style text align colon right save f5 and it moves over to the right so I just wanted to point out that you can still do those things uh, individually you don't have to mess with everything on a table at once everything doesn't have to be in sync basically uh, and this really covers everything in tables uh, this was a lot of stuff if this was overwhelming, do watch this video again. I did go through this stuff quite quickly, like really fast. So, if, yeah, if you need to go through this stuff again, go ahead. I urge you. Uh, other than that, this pretty much wraps up this video on tables.